Hey everybody, welcome to another exclusive Goody Reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to unbox the new Icarus Excel. This is a brand new 9.7 inch e-reader, which most people really want. Those large screen e-readers are perfect for PDFs and, and large documents and it's new. It just came out in July of 2012 and it's from a company that we've really never heard of before but we were pretty impressed on its uh, uh, previous offerings with uh, the Icarus po Pocket. This is a 9.7 inch e-ink pearl display. The resolution is 1200 by 825 and it has a Freescale 800 megahertz processor which is incidentally is the same type of processor that you'll see uh, in other 9.7 uh, devices and you can see that it has a uh, 256 MB of RAM. Four gigs of internal storage. Of course you can upgrade it via the micro SD up to 32 gigs and of course it has Wi-Fi battery life will last you about two to four weeks it also has uh, audio functionality and a myriad of supported ebook formats Peter here is gonna crank open the box and show you what lurks inside all right one thing I like about these European companies is that they always have multiple language support which I really think is a good idea because it just makes the device just available to so many countries around the world so let's check out what's inside the box first before we get into the reader got yourself a little stylus there we all know what that means so we have quick user manual here showing you what's inside shows you a uh, couple of the uh, ways to do things power on hold for two seconds etc want to read over that before you dive in we we'll have a wall port, and you can see this is a European-only port. However, ShoppyReaders.com, our retail exclusive partner, will have converter plugs for you for purchase uh, with any shipment. So you can plug the European charger into the North American standard if that is, in fact, where you live. And we also have Australian and UK and other adapters as well. We have a mini USB cable. So this is uh, the part that plugs into your device. This part plugs into your um, your PC laptop, Slate PC, or Mac, as it says on the back of the box. This is used for data transfer and charging your device. Warranty information. As this is a uh, fairly new device, you, uh, you might not be aware of what warranty uh, you have on it. So make sure you hold on to this. Looks like you have a little bit of a serial number here on the bottom if you ever have to do warranty this. So hold on to that and make sure you know where you're sending it if you have to. Stylus for the touchscreen. Let us open this up. Yeah. You know what that looks like? That looks like a fingerprint reader. I'm not sure. Let's uh, check this out. This is the first time we've unboxed this, so it's new to us as well. Very nice looking right off the bat. I like it. Um, little control stick here. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, we have a uh, enter button up, down, left, right. This, uh, it's, it's hard to see on camera, but it, it is indeed a full navigation thumb, kind of like a D pad or a control stick. We have uh, nice rubber buttons. That's interesting. Uh, so we have a home button, a back button, a back page turn and a forward page turn. However, this is touchscreen, so you can as well interact with it with your hand. How's the weight? It's not that heavy. I think the Kindle DX, which would be the most obvious competitor to this, is a lot heavier. This isn't too bad at all. I think it's uh, it's a good weight to it for such a large e-reader. We have um, volume down, volume up and volume down buttons. We have a headphone jack. We have a microphone, it looks like. Power button. Mini... USB and unfortunately this looks like a full SD uh, you can buy SD cards and adapters from shoppyreaders.com so if you wanted that uh, they do have expandable memory up to 32 gig and the back reset button and I swear this is a fingerprint uh, reader it's really cool looking and it's kind of uh, we just get in on that you see how it's all mechanical it looks like a little computer chip so let's see how this uh, looks upon first time boot up hopefully it has some power yes it does and we'll see what we have first time we turn it on 
Yeah, it's finally good to see more availability of 9.7 inch uh, e-ink based readers. You wouldn't believe the amount of emails that we field and messages that we field on a daily basis where people are looking for devices such as this. Uh, the Amazon Kindle DX is all but discontinued. Uh, good luck ordering a pocketbook or an Onyx Books uh, e-reader. Uh, they're very hard to deal with. They don't answer emails for the most part, never return calls. So we're, we're always keeping our eyes out for new entrants to the market that have of large screen devices because there's a huge market you know available to them uh, it looks like it has a web browser to take advantage of uh, the the Wi-Fi and are you able to interact with it via touchscreen now this is an important thing we have a stylus here so let's see if we can click on that we can now here's something that I want to try after this loads and um, for a lot of people this may pose a problem so we can turn pages with the stylus, we can turn pages with the hard buttons, but can we turn pages with your finger? It doesn't look like it. A lot of e-readers and um, like the Jetbook Color for example, they don't have any finger capacitive infrared interactivity. You can see that I can't interact with it without this stylus or the hard buttons on the bezel. So very crucial to hold on to the stylus. It's one of those uh, white tipped pens that retract as you press it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very important to hold on to this. Okay, so what are your initial impressions of all this? What do you think about it? I love seeing a 9.7 inch e-reader um, I'm it's been a long time coming we had the uh, pocketbook 912 for a while but that company is uh, very uh, difficult to receive uh, items from they don't have a lot of vendors uh, that are readily accessible for the average um, consumer purchase so it's very difficult to get a hold of those items and uh, the Kindle DX as Michael said is becoming discontinued so if you do want a 9 9.7 inch tablet uh, get it now because I mean soon you won't even be able to grab them but uh, 9.7 inch tablet Icarus XL will now be available at Shopee Readers very soon and um, I say it's uh, I, I've been I've been kind of waiting for something like this for quite a while and I'm very curious to see what that kind of chip is on the back and we'll get into that in the full review yeah initial impressions a lot of the times people are pretty liberal and losing their stylus <laughs> I encourage you not to lose this because you can't interact with it without it you saw I was uh, you know randomly pressing buttons as Peter was talking things seem to load pretty fast I mean you're not suffering from a lot of delays like most other uh, competitors who also offer 9.7 inch readers a lot of different font options you know things aren't dynamic but I think we're spoiled by companies like Amazon and Barnes and Noble that have a lot of money in their pockets to develop things like this but initially I really like this it's responsive page turns are fast uh, you're not seeing that full page uh, refresh every time you turn a page uh, with most normal ebooks uh, you saw it with with this that it was but we've heard we've heard that when you're reading normal books it's not full page refreshes and you do have options to uh, customize it so uh, this has been an unboxing review of the Icarus Excel and stay tuned to our full review video available on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash goodyreader and our website at goodyreader.com and for Goody Reader, my name is Michael this is Peter everybody take care